In this scenario, we have a 500 foot by 282 foot concrete slab to be built. It needs to have a slope in the east-west direction and another separate slope in the north-south direction in order to fit the site. We're just going to calculate the four corner elevations starting from an assumed elevation of 100 feet at the southwest corner of the slab. The slopes as given are 0 0.011 in decimal form in the north-south direction and 0 0.042 in the east-west direction. Slope, as we have said before, is the relationship of vertical over horizontal, or we often call this rise over run. Well, in our case, we know the slope values. We know the horizontal values. We are trying to find the vertical differences from corner to corner. If I solve this, you'll see that vertical is horizontal times slope. So let's do this for the east-west sides. We know that the horizontal distance is 500 feet. We multiply that by a positive 0 0.042 slope and the elevation change will be 21.00 feet. That will be true both for the south edge of this slab and for the north edge because the slopes are identical. Then let's also do this for the north-south. The vertical will be 282 feet by a positive slope of 0 0.011 and that gives us 3.10 feet as our elevation difference. So we can simply say that from 100 we are rising by 3.1 feet right here. 3.10 feet to there. Along the south edge we are rising by 21 feet. This elevation at this location will be 121 and this elevation here will be 103.10. Just as we had a rise of 21 feet along the south edge, we will also have the same rise along the north edge. So when I add 103.10 and 21 0 0.0 feet, I will get 124.10 feet, and that is the elevation at that corner. This slab will be a flat plane when we build it exactly this way. So if you needed to calculate the elevation of some other point out in the middle of this slab, you would need to merely know the distance from one edge and the distance from the other edge to calculate the elevation at that point using the slopes and those two distances.